Hello, Teresa, and welcome to WEAT. We're excited to have you teaching in our new program, which is called Weaving Braids of Belonging. And this is about enhancing equity, diversity, and inclusion through creativity, peace building, and mindfulness practices. And you are our mindfulness teacher, and we'll be offering the eight-week course on mindfulness practice. So we have a few minutes today just to hear about what is your course all about? I'm excited about it. So the course is really about how to nourish beauty in our life and also how to meet suffering with care and with wise attention. And we'll do this through different practices. So um, you'll first of all learn what mindfulness, mindfulness is and what it's not. You'll actually have the experience with the practice. So we will do practices uh, in the classroom. You will leave with having a really clear sense of what the practice is about and what the three anchors are when we do the practice. So the anchors are the breath, the body, and sound. And any practice or any course in mindfulness um, must have hard practices. Because eventually mindfulness, as one, as one teenager told me many, many years ago, is about loving ourselves. So, so there'll be some hard practices. And because for all of us, emotions are such a big, uh, such a rich part of our life as human beings, we'll learn how to take care of them, how to be with them in a way that's kind and wise and respectful. Um, what you're describing here, you know, when I think about diversity, equity, and inclusion, I really see how uh, mindfulness practice can apply to um, a deeper understanding of a co our complex society and our complex workplaces, um, just in terms of how do we, how do we honor diversity? How do we understand what's needed in terms of equity in the workplace and how do we create a sense of inclusiveness in our workplace? Can you talk a little bit about how you see mindfulness fitting into those, uh, those ch what might feel like challenges in our complex workplaces? Yes. Yeah, so because through the, through, through the practices, we learn how to, um, how to be present how to be aware of what's coming up for us, how to take care of difficult emotions that might come up in a, in a, in a conversation, how to be clear and how to be there with heart. What, you, what we'll start to notice is that when we are in an encounter that might be difficult, we, we know how to slow down, we know how to pay attention to what's coming up within us, we know how to settle ourselves, and to listen to what the other person is really saying. And so through the course, really, what we learn is how to bring awareness and heart to situations that we may not understand because of our different life experiences and our different cultural experiences. So we really learn how to slow down and pay attention to what this difference brings, brings up in us and also to hear what the other person is saying. So eventually, you know, it's really about looking around in our workplace and really seeing and hearing whoever is in that workplace and really welcoming the diversity and richness that our workplace brings to us. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, and I am wondering if right in this moment, we could have an experience of mindfulness, just so the viewers could have a sense of what that might even mean for those who are new to mindfulness. Yes, so let's, let's just come to the present moment by just bringing our awareness to maybe what's in front of us. Just noticing what's in front of us, the colors, the shapes. And then just listening to sounds, just hearing them, receiving them.
and inviting you to bring your attention to your heart center in the middle of your chest. And as you continue to breathe normally, imagine that as you're breathing, you're breathing in and out through your heart center. And now inviting you to bring into your awareness to think of someone, it can be a person, it can be a beloved pet, someone that when you think of makes you smile. And just bring that being into your awareness. And notice what the feeling is. Really sense the feeling that comes up in you as you recall this person or this being that brings delight. And see if you can feel gratitude for this experience with this being, with this person. And really feel the gratitude, keeping your attention and your heart center all the time. Yeah, and then slowly opening your eyes and coming back here. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah, I really noticed how um, how you can transport yourself to quite a different space in such a short period of time with those what seem like relatively simple prompts, but you know you can really shift your. Um, both your thoughts, but also almost your energetic field. Like it feels like you can really arrive in a different place through paying that mindful attention to what's going on in the inside and also through focusing on the heart practice. Yes. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add about your time together with folks as part of our weaving braids of belonging well, I'm really excited to be meeting people because I know there'll be a depth of experience that that everyone will bring. There'll be experience, there'll be wisdom, there'll be joy. There might be tears as well. And everything is welcome in that place. Everything is welcome. All parts of who we are, wherever we come from, everyone is welcome. And I'm really looking forward to that. That's beautiful. I know that even after our open house, we had feedback from people that when they experienced the mindfulness practice, it felt so refreshing. And they came in feeling a little bit tired at the end of their workday. But after the open house, they felt quite invigorated and recharged because we had we focused on mindfulness practice specifically in that open house. So I'm excited for what the participants will receive. Looking forward to it, Teresa. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah. Thank you, Darcy.